All right, so I don't know if you can see it in there. I was over there. I thought oh, I'll come and have a look over here. I have a feeling, and I hope I'm right. I hope it's not a. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get wet. Oh, it is. It's a bit of blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what what uh, rock would you say wait, makes you weak in the knees? Like when you come across it when you're fossicking the rivers that you go to. Oh, <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, that is blue. I would say a good piece of blue. Yeah, finding a real, a really beautiful piece of blue is, um, it's one that I will never stop looking for. Is that fairly rare where you are? Is the blue materials? Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys this one. Before I show you this beauty all polished up, I want to revisit some of the blues we've found so far in this creek system. A bit of blue. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. In the three years we've been making these videos, we've literally gotten less than a handful of blue calcedony. Dude, I found a really pretty bit of blue. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. I'm not sure if I'd call it rare but it's uncommon. All right, dude, I think I got some blue. It looks nice. Yeah, I'd call that blue. But no matter how hard you look for it, ultimately it's up to the creek when you find it. That's just in the last half hour, but we did just have to save a dog who doesn't seem to actually care at all. There's a need saving. Oh, wow, that's a big, pretty one, man. Big on it. And look at the colour of it though, it's like a... What about the masterpiece? Dude, I think that's a bit of blue. It is blue! In some circles, the blue chalcedony is said to stimulate your ability to learn. Which I think is fitting because from this one stone, and the help of a friend of mine, I was able to learn a little bit more about why we see these rocks as blue but more of that later. However these beautiful stones get their color, I think one thing that's undeniable is that whether it's a small nodule that catches your eye with the color of the sky, a light hue and a piece of betroidal, or even shards of beautiful purple, no matter what, when you see it, it makes you feel good. It was already cracked though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, a little cracked in it. Jeez, there's a fair bit of water. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope I didn't do anything wrong. Now, true gem silica, the green or blue variety, gets its color from copper, which was present when it was forming. But that's not always the case. Some chalcedony, the milky ones, or the almost clear ones, will look blue depending on which way the sun's showing. Okay, now I see one poking through and it's the, it's not gonna be a big one, but I wanna show how it can look blue when it's surrounded. Can you see that blue? It can look blue because there's no full light coming through it. And then it's not quite, see? This is because of something called the Tyndall effect. I learned this from my good friend, Thirst Fast. It's where the sunlight hits the stone, making it look blue to the viewer. I, I, the, I want to explain it better. There's also something else called the Rayleigh scatter effect. I'm going to leave a, a link to some websites down below so that you can find out more about that because I don't want to teach the wrong thing. It's also very similar to what happens in opals, creating opalescence. Oh, look at the change in color in that. See the blue and then it's clear and blue. Okay, now let's take a look at the rock we came here for. And stay tuned because when it is polished, it is stunning. This is my best piece of blue chalcedony yet. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, poor Lee. Um, what's my favourite cow sound in colour? <laughs> Look! Oh, this is... <laughs> Like oh, opal that is blue. Yeah. But it has that like opal like look to it. That's oh. yeah. Bend down. Oh. Stay there. Oh. And I was that. the whole way across here and I like, No way, dude. Oh, that is so blue. Hey Benoit, have a look at this. Oh gosh. Get ready? Yeah. Ready, ready? Ready, always ready. That's definitely not blue, right? That's, 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 a, that's, that's a carnelian. That's a carnelian? Yeah. You don't want Dude, it anyway. I don't want it, I don't want it. Dude, that is one of my best finds ever, I have to say. Oh, that's amazing, eh? It's amazing. Holy. <sighs> well done, brother. Well done. So Dude, it was, it, because it, was, it, was, it was sitting like that, and I'm like, up just like that. And I'm like, why is that blue? I freaked out, man. I freaked why out. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys this one. Blue the blue. Now, I took this to the Lapidary Club. Unfortunately, I can't film in the Lapidary Club. I haven't asked for permission, but there's a few decisions I had to make with it. I'll go through them, but first of all, let's, uh, let's see it. Okay, so that's what it looked like on top. Now, those crystal structures there are not actually made from chalcedony. Those are from what I'm thinking is calcite that's grown in there and it's worn away and there's a fine layer of quartz. So that's like a negative of where the calcite grew in, in with this guy. You can see around the edge how blue it is. It's beautiful. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I could have made something different from it, but I wanted to keep as much of the stone as possible because oh, just, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do with it yet other than just preserve it. I can always take this off at another date, but for now I'm just leaving it. More of a specimen. On the back it had a bit of a husk, like you see on, on regular chalcedony nodules, and I was worried that that's what was keeping this blue color in there because of the Tyndall effect. Look at the back, it is stunning. It's just beautiful. I don't... I just don't. I don't have any words. It's stunning. It looks like... It looks like a cloud in the sky. There's little white things in there. They're actually little pockets of quartz bugs, tiny, tiny ones. You can see them just poking through little pockets, little strange pockets. So there's, there's flaws in this, but yeah, <laughs> I'm in love with it. Now for stones like these, I've always wanted to give them a name. This one I'm going to go with Ninyiri, which is Yugenbe for blue. The Yugenbe people were the traditional owners and indigenous people of this area, Southeast Queensland. So this is Ninyiri. Now one thing I learned about true blue chalcedony and agates from Marlena and Thirst Fast, my, my buddies, um, is that when you hold them up to the sun, which we don't have much of, you can see a pink tinge to it, rather than an orange tinge. So, I don't know, we'll see, hold up. We'll see. Oh, you can see a little bit of it there, but uh, not enough. So, but that's a little tip I, I learned from the guys. All right, that is Nanyiri, <laughs> my blue Kalsedony. And I'm keeping this one. This one will be a uh, heirloom for the grandkids one day. Hopefully not too soon. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go put this in the cabinet. That, that was fun. Um, thank you so much. And I will see you next video, two weeks time for some cutting rocks. I've got a whole bunch there that I need to cut. Oh. <laughs> bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. I really appreciate you guys coming along. Really do.
Thank you. You can tell by my smile. I'm, I'm a happy man. <laughs> Who wouldn't love rocks, honestly? Come on. Mm.